many people find it very difficult to work out how much change they're going to get. It doesn't matter whether it's in dollars, yen or pounds, which is what I'm going to look at. And even when they write down a calculation, it's difficult to know whether you borrow or lend or whatever. Uh, here, as an example, I've got five pounds that we are going to look at how you can work it out fairly simply, where the numbers you subtract are going to be always smaller than the number you're subtracting from. First things first, five pounds can uh, buy you various things and here we've got a price tag for three pounds thirty four to do a subtraction for some people is very difficult but if you consider that five pounds um, would be a load of change like this that would be easy you just take out uh, three pounds uh, thirty four from the the change that you've got so why not consider your five pounds as 4.99 plus one penny 4.99 means that any money that you're going to take away is going to be smaller than the four the nine and the nine uh, just don't forget that one penny that you're going to still have in your pocket so five pounds we're just going to consider as 4.99 plus one pence the 334 that we actually uh, want to spend, uh, if we're going to do it as a, a calculation, we'd write it down underneath the 499, draw a line underneath, and then the decimal point underneath the other two decimal points. Take away the 4 from the 9, just add on, counting up. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 gives us 5. Then the 3 up to 9, or 9 take away 3, is 6, and then 3 from 4 is 1. Whatever you do, don't forget to put the pound sign, and remember that 1p. Uh, that 1p has got to be added on to whatever you get. So what we've got now is £5 minus £3.34, is actually equal to £1.66 change. Now I hope that um, you found that useful. The same would apply for a £10 note for example, that would be 9 99 plus a penny, or a £20 note would be 19 99 plus a penny, and that just means that any amount of money that you want to take away is um, always smaller than the numbers that you're taking away from. And of course, remember to add on that one penny at the end. I hope that's useful and I hope that's removed the heartache that some of you will have felt trying to do those sorts of calculations.